Hello everyone, welcome back to the Way video. I'm Giselle, I'm 19, and today's video is going to be <sighs> Frequently Asked Questions Answered, Tattoo Edition. So, um, I'm gonna start just a small, tiny, itty bitty little baby dick series um, of Frequently Asked Questions Answered. So I did one, I think a couple, about a week or two ago, somewhere around that time, and it was more about my tattoos and piercings. So this is gonna be Frequently Asked Questions about tattoos, just in general, not mine, but any kind of tattoo. So, um, yeah, I'm answering 12 questions that are frequently asked um, about tattoos. So let's go ahead and jump on into this damn video. So, <laughs> number one, I always get this question. I always hear this question. I always hear my friends talk about how they get this question if they have any tattoos. And the number one question that we always get is, does it hurt? I always want to be like a sarcastic asshole about this because, duh, it's gonna fucking hurt. It's a tattoo. It's needle. It's a damn needle going into your skin. It doesn't feel that fucking great. <laughs> it's tolerable though. I um, also want to say that it depends on your pain tolerance. That is a big thing that plays a part in whether you should get a tattoo or not and if it hurts or doesn't. Um, well, if it hurts or fucking hurts like hell. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm puppy sitting by the way, so if you hear a little rustling going on, puppies are annoying. I love them though. Um, you'll know why. So yeah, but does it hurt? Yes, of course it fucking hurts. Why wouldn't it? Um, now for the pain tolerance, I'd say for me, it's probably like a four, four and a half, sometimes a five, depending on the area. That's also another big part that plays um, in the pain tolerance and the pain threshold, I guess you could say, is areas. So in certain areas, like on this tattoo and this one um, and this one, all of my tattoos, every single one of them, I always had like pain, more pain than I did in certain areas. Like around here, it was around the side of my arm that hurt more. For my collarbone tattoo, it was more around here because of the way I was sitting. It was actually tattooing a little bit on my bone because my collarbone because he had me doing this, and that really flexes at your collarbone. So, um, he did end up tattooing a little bit on the collarbone. So, ouch. It hurt more right up here. And also, the closer he got to my boob, it hurt more too. Now, for this one, it hurt more up in the shoulder area, where the shoulder bone is at. Um, nothing really else hurt too much, except for when he got around to the side over here. That kind of hurt. So, um, yeah. Mostly, like, the sides and bones are where it hurts a lot, especially. Yeah, so, um, anyways, but, you know, it's not too bad. It is, um, withstandable. I know some people that are just like, oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. It's like an 8 out of 10. I won't be getting another one. And then they go and get another one. So, ugh. yeah, but it is tolerable, at least for, you know, most of the people that I know. Number two, how much does it cost and what is the prices of yours? So, um, I'm going to answer the first one and then I'll answer the second one. So, how much does it cost? It actually depends on where you go, who does it, and um, how big or small the tattoo is. So, like, for all of mine, they all varied in price, but they're around the same price range. So, um, yeah. But... You, like I said, it just really depends on where you go, who you see, who's doing it, um, and, you know, if they do give out, you know, certain things that'll help you, like, I guess you could say, like, discounts or stuff like that, and on top of how big or small the tattoo is. So, the second one is, what are the costs of mine? So, all my tattoos, I still remember. So, this one was $90. This is my very first tattoo. My second tattoo was this one. This was $100. And this tattoo, pretty sure it was $200, maybe $150. Um, I can't exactly remember for this one. I'm pretty sure it was $150 to $200. So, um, yeah, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't expensive. So, um, yeah, I want to say this one was 200 and then I also tipped. So, that leads in to the next question. So, question number three is, should I tip the artist? Now, there is no rule that you should have to tip the artist, but it is generous for you to tip the artist since they are taking so much time on your tattoo and making it look good. 
Now, you don't have to, like, if you don't have the money, that's fine. But it would be better if you did tip the artist. Um, the first two tattoos um, that I ever got, I did not tip the artist. Um, sorry, Kevin. Um, but this last one, I did tip him just because of the fact that, you know, it took so long to do. Like, these other ones are pretty, these two other ones are pretty quick. And this one took a while because there's so much detail in this tattoo and so much shading and just a lot went into this tattoo. And I was sitting there for about two and a half hours getting this tattoo done. I know people have done longer, but, like, that's the longest tattoo I've done. Um, two and a half to three hours. And, bitch, I was tired. And on top of that, I was already sitting there waiting because it was a walk-in day, which is usually when I get my tattoos. So, yeah. Alright, number four. What should I get and where should I get it? So, this depends on you. Um, it really all just depends on what you want to get. You can get something that's meaningful to you. You can get something that you just like. You can... You know, you can you can get anything. Now, some tattoo artists will tell you that they don't want to tattoo that because of certain beliefs or because of certain things that really should not be tattooed on someone or if they know that you might regret it in the future because tattoo artists do know some of that stuff. So, um, yeah. But um, always listen to your tattoo artist, by the way. Always, always, always listen to your tattoo artist. If they tell you that's not going to work or that's not going to be able to fit there or, you know, something like that color might not stay in your skin, always listen to them. Do not ever be like, mm, well, whatever, it's okay. No, listen to them because they know what's best. They are professionally trained for this, and they know what they're doing. Listen. <sighs> Just saying. And then also, where do you get in? Now, it depends on where you work and, you know, what you do, and also look at it in the future. Some places, you won't be able to work there because you have tattoos. But if you're able to cover up your tattoo, and you want to be able to cover up your tattoo, I'd say your legs are probably the best place to put a tattoo um, if you want to be able to have a tattoo, but also keep it covered. I'd say probably your um, upper thigh would probably be the best place because um, most workplaces won't let you wear really short shorts. You usually have to do it to the knee or right above the knee, so they won't be able to see the tattoo still. Now... If you get on the bottom of your leg, they'll still be able to see the tattoo when you wear shorts or capris. So, yeah. Next. <laughs> Number five. What is the best time of year to get a tattoo? Winter. It is straight up winter. Winter is the best time to get a tattoo. That is when I got these two tattoos. This, I got this actually in the summer, and let me tell you, it was hell on earth. I'm trying to keep it out of the sun because you're not allowed to have your tattoo in the sun for two months. So winter is the best time, and it's always, you always want to do it, like, beginning, mid, beginning of the middle, the beginning, mid thing of winter. So, like, for here, um, I'd probably get it done in, I want to say December to January, because December is one of our coldest months, same with January, February, it can be cold too. So I'd probably get it done near the end of December, beginning of January. So, but that's for here where I live. It kind of just depends on your climate and where you live and how the weather acts there. So, um, winter is definitely the best time. The cold, you know, you're really not going out in the sun. Um, you really just stay inside more, at least I do. Um, and also the sun's just not a really big thing in the winter time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but definitely winter is the best. Also, getting sweaty and having a tattoo is just not fun. So, yeah. Next, number six. Should I get a tattoo while sick? No, 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 no. Do not, do not get a tattoo while sick. If you are feeling sick, do not get a tattoo. One, it can cause an infection. Two, it's just not a good idea to have your immune system fighting off this infection and the sickness and then adding a tattoo onto that, because now your body has to heal your whole body, plus this big-ass open, or small, whatever you get, this open wound that you just got tattooed on you. So, remember, a tattoo is a wound. You're still, like, this This is wide open right now. Just because it does not look like a cut or anything, you gotta remember, it's still open skin. So, um, do not get a tattoo while you're sick. That can cause harm to you and your tattoo artist. And you don't want that. So, number seven. Can I shave with my new tattoo? No, please do not shave with your new tattoo. That is another thing. Your skin will start peeling on its own. And if you were to peel off that skin 
Also, that's another thing. Do not peel the skin off. I know when it's peeling and flaking, you're going to want to be like, but don't do it. It's a trap. Um, your color will come out. The tattoo just will not look as good as it's supposed to if you peel off the skin. So do not peel off your skin. It'll take some of the color out. So, um, yeah. But do not shave. It's going to... You already have an open wound. Would you shave over an open wound? Probably. Probably not. Who knows? But do not shave because that is a really big open wound right there. And it could potentially take off some of the skin on top. And there goes your color and your tattoo. Even if you just get a black and white tattoo, it can still take off the color of the, like the ink of your tattoo. It will still help it, I guess, come out in a certain way. I don't know how to describe it. But you just got to remember. Don't shave. Um, how do I prepare for a tattoo? So, make sure to eat and drink I think it's 15 to 20 minutes before you go to get your tattoo. Please, because it can make you feel... Remember, you, you, you're you nervous, you're under stress, you're going to actually cause a little bit of trauma to your, your skin. You know, your skin's going to be a little irritated. And, you know, you just... You're losing blood. If you bleed a lot, you are still going to lose blood. And I know some needles can make people pass out, so you do not want to um, not eat or drink. So get hydrated and eat before you come in. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Number eight. Can my friend practice tattoos on me? Do not let your friend practice tattoos on you. Ever. It's, it's bad. Don't. One, you get a really crappy ass tattoo. And that'll be on your body forever, unless you have the money to laser it off. Two, that is very dangerous for you and your friend, including the fact that if she doesn't know how to tattoo on skin, they do have things out there to, you know, help with that. Um, you can Google it, Amazon it, you know, stuff like that. But they do have something, I'm pretty sure it's called mole skin. I'm not entirely sure what they call it, but um, it's like a skin, it's like a little small piece of skin-like... Um, flap um, that you get and you get a whole bunch of them in bulk and you can t practice tattooing on those so do not let your friend practice tattooing on you plus including the fact that it's just not it's not safe so yeah number 10 how long does it take a tattoo to heal so I probably really fucked this up I'm sorry um fully it takes four to six weeks for your skin to go back to normal but like after the peeling um if you're just talking about peeling and all that then it takes around two to three weeks for me it only took about two weeks i got it about two weeks ago so um yeah but it's pretty much done peeling now i mean there's still a little few areas that are peeling just a tad bit but they're like small peels so yeah but um Number 11, why does my tattoo itch? Okay, your tattoo is itching because it's healing. Now, if you ever get, like, um, not if you ever, whenever you get hurt and you notice something's starting to heal or when you got your ears pierced, and if you got your ears pierced at a young age, then you won't know. But, um, you know, if you were to get hurt and your wound starts healing, you can see it's like really itchy when it's healing. The reason why... You it's itchy is because the skin forming around, you gotta remember the skin is like forming around, so here's like the wound, now your skin is gonna start coming into little clusters around your wound. So your skin is kinda just like, <sighs> so, yeah, great details. But yeah, I just remember that it's healing, so do not itch it. That is one thing, do not itch your tattoo when it is healing. Um, it's bad, don't do it. You know, underneath your fingernails can be really dirty and gross, even if you washed your hands. And on top of that, you can cause um, trauma and permanent scarring if you were to scratch at your tattoo. So the best thing I can tell you to do is just do this. That's what I had to do when my tattoo was pretty itchy. I just sit there and just smack the shit out of it. You can smack it all you want. It might be a little red, but at least you're not digging at it with your nails. So, um, yeah. Number 12. I get this question a whole bunch. Can I get tattooed under 18? So, yes. Um, you can get tattooed or pierced under 18. At least where I'm from. I live in Kansas. Um, you can actually get tattooed at 16, but you do need um, parent permission. 
Um, you also have to bring your ID and your um, birth certificate or your social security number. So, um, since I am 18, well, I'm over 18, I'm 19. Since I'm over 18, um, all I have to do is bring in um, my ID because you do need your number on your ID or license, whatever you have. I have an ID. I do not have a license yet. <coughs> Woo. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyways, but yes, you can. You just have to bring your parent or guardian, whoever is in control of you, and your ID and your social security number and your birth certificate. I bring all three of those just in case. So, yeah. Other than that, that is all I have for frequently asked questions. Really quickly, I did get something about, you know, clothing-wise, what to wear. So, um, for me, personally, um, I would say to wear loose-fit clothing. You really don't want tight-fit clothing just because it can, it has more <sighs> restricting. It's kind of restricting, puts a little more pressure on it. Plus, whenever you move, it's going to rub it more than if you were to wear a looser piece of clothing. So, remember, be comfortable instead of being fashionable. So, just keep that in mind. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And, you know, <clears throat> if, if you want to, you know, click that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. And also, if you want to see a video that I created that can relate to you, click on my face somewhere right here. And... You know, if you scroll over my face, somewhere in the bottom corners, one of these corners, um, you can scroll over my face and you'll see the little subscribe button. It's free. Go ahead and click that button. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!